Hi friends, this is Sayyad Reshma Sharif. Today, I am going to solve Engineering Mathematics Question Paper, Section 2. In this Section 2, they give a following tabulations. Observe this tabulation. Observe this one. The equation of a straight line intercept from with x intercept 2 units and y intercept 3 units. And P2, the equation of a line whose inclination is 45 degrees with positive x axis and passing through origin. Okay, what we have to do? All relevant steps and solution fill up the relevant answer in below tabular column. We have to fill in this P1 and P2 which one is correct from this 3. Okay, Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1 is given as 2x plus y is equal to 1. Q2 is given as x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 1. Q3 is equal to y is equal to x. Okay. This is going to solve by considering P1 given intercept that is A is equal to 2. This one. Okay. For P1. P1 here taking A is equal to 2 units and Y intercept B is equal to 3 units. They get. We know that the interception formula of a straight line is X by A plus Y by B is equal to 1. Okay. Now substituting A and B values we know. A value is 2. B value is 3. Then x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 1, which is q2. We will get answer or not, p1 value. Similarly, p2, the equation of an ang a line whose inclination is 45 degrees, they give. Now here what we have to do, we have to consider theta is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, 45 degrees we have to consider. And line passing through the origin okay line passing through the origin means we have to consider theta is equal to 45 equation of a straight line passing through the origin the slope m is y is equal to mx okay y is equal to mx then m value we know the tan theta 45 degree tan 45 degrees is equal to 1 then y is equal to x. Yeah, I am going to write P1 value is Q2 and P2 value is Q3. Okay. Or in the same question section, in this question they gave what are the conditions of a line y is equal to m1x. m1x plus c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2. To be Parallel or perpendicular. Also check whether these lines x minus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 3 are parallel or perpendicular. We have to check. Okay. Now they gave conditions that y is equal to m1 plus x plus c1 and y is equal to m2 x plus c2 to be parallel or perpendicular. Let us see. Now I am going to write these two lines y is equal to m1x plus c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2. They give condition this one. So the given two lines are parallel if m1 is equal to m2. If it satisfies condition m1 is equal to m2 then the two given lines are parallel. And the given two lines are perpendicular means m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. See ma, if you write these two also you will get 1-1 one, one mark for these two conditions also. If you write these two also. Like this it carries a marks. Okay. Now consider x minus 2y is equal to 4. Then slope is m1 is equal to minus a by b. Here minus a by b means a value is 1. B value is minus 2. Now I am going to substitute. Minus a by b minus 1 by minus 2. Minus minus get cancelled that is 1 by 2. Now consider 2x plus 3y plus is equal to 3 then here in first condition m1 is not equal to m2 m2 value is minus 2 and so our first condition parallel it is not parallel because m1 is not equal to m2 now similarly consider m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 we have to get this is a condition for perpendicular. M1 value is 1 by 2. M2 value is minus 2. 2 to get cancelled. Minus 1. Hence the given two lines are 
perpendicular to each other. Okay, understood? Next one, ma, if a straight line is inclined at an angle 135 degrees with the positive direction of x axis, then what is the slope? Further, if the same line passes through the point 1, comma 2, find its equation. Now, what I am going to solve? Here, they give angle means definitely theta. Theta is equal to 135 degrees. Now, slope m. m is equal to tan theta. Theta value, we know that 135 degrees. Here, I am going to write 135 degrees as 180 degrees minus 45. We know that tan 180 degrees minus 45, tan minus tan 45. This we will get in trigonometric equations. Okay. Therefore, slope m is equal to minus 1. Tan 45 degrees 1. Okay. Tan 45 degrees 1. Here minus is there, so I am writing minus 1. Now, given that the line passes through the point 1, comma 2, that is x1, comma y1. If they gave points, means definitely x and y values. Now, here I am going to take x and y, x1 and y1 values. We know that the equation of a straight line passing through the points x1, comma y1. This is main ma. If they give points, we have to write, consider this x1 and y1 format and we have to consider this formula. If they give slopes and all, we will change some formula. That is main important thing. Based upon our question, we have to choose our formulas. Now, we know slope, well, we have slope m and it is given by y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. We find slope y minus 2, 2 here nothing but y1. This one is x1, y1. x1 is 1, y1 is 2. y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 into x minus 1. Okay. Now y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 into x minus of minus plus 1. That equal to x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. This is a required equation of a straight line. x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Actually, I plan to solve all these problems on my board, but I don't have sufficient time because polytechnic exams are arriving soon. So, I am solving this model paper like this. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding this, please comment me on my comment section. So, I will explain again and again. But understanding is main concept. Now, let us see. Find the equation of a straight line passing through the point 6, comma, minus 2 and 8, comma, 4. See, ma, with this question only we, they gave two points, A and B. Let us consider the points are A and B. That is x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now, what is the equation of a straight line if the two points they gave x1, y1 and x2, y2? That is y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to y, x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. If we write this formula only, they are considering, they are giving two marks. So, don't forget the formula. In previously, they gave one point, then what we take y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Now, substituting these given values, we get y minus y1 value is 2 by y2 minus y1 4 minus 2 is equal to x minus 6 by 8 minus 6 okay y minus 2 by 4 minus 2 2 x minus 6 by 8 minus 6 2 this 2 this 2 get cancelled then y minus 2 is equal to x minus 6 then i am sending all these y terms that side then x minus y minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 0. x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. This is a required equation of a line when they gave points. Yeah, they give two points. Okay. <clears throat> Next one, find the equation of a line 
parallel to the line joining points a minus 2 comma 5 and b 2 comma minus 5 and passing through the points 1 comma 1 see here a b they gave and also they said that these two points are passing through the point 1 and 1 given joining points are a minus 2 comma 5 and b 2 comma minus 5 now we need to find the slope using the points this is a slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. A and b we have to consider y1, x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. This is a formula for finding slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Minus y minus y by 2 minus of minus 2 is equal to minus 10 by 4. That is minus 5 by 2. Slope is equal to minus 5 by 2 we get. See here till here we find slope. Huh? Now we know that since the line is parallel to the given line, hence m1 is equal to m2. This is a condition. Ma. If the lines are parallel, it must satisfy condition m1 and m2. m1 is equal to m2. Okay. Slope m1 we know minus 5 by 2 is equal to m2. Then now we have to find equation of a straight line passing through point 1 comma 1 and having slope minus 5 by 3. Here we find we know this point 1 and 1 and slope we find minus 5 by 2. Now if they gave 1 point and we know slope the formula is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This one is x1, this one is y1. Now y minus y1 is equal to m value x minus 5 by 2. Substitute this one y minus 1 is equal to minus 5 by 2 into x minus 1. Then cross multiplication 2 into y minus 1 is equal to minus 5 into x minus 1. The 2y minus 2 is equal to minus 5x minus of minus plus 5. That equal to 5x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Hence, the straight line pa parallel to the given line is, equation of straight line parallel to the given line is 5x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Next one, find the equation of a line passing through the points 1 comma 3 and perpendicular to the line 2x plus y is equal to 1. Till here we solve problems if they give points if uh, and slope, how we are considering. Similarly, if they give two points, and pa parallel to the another and passing through the another points then we are finding equation now the equation of a line they give and pa passing through the points 1 comma 3 they give and perpendicular to the line 2x plus y is equal to 1 here we know that the equation of a line parallel perpendicular to the given line is x minus 2y plus k is equal to 0 Okay, now required line passing through the points 1 comma 3. Hence, substitute the values in the above equation. We get the value of k. This is the equation of a line parallel perpendicular to the given line. x minus 2y plus k is equal to 0. Okay, now I am going to substitute, find the value of k by substituting 1 and 3 in this equation x plus y I am substituting 1 minus 2 into y plus 3 plus k is equal to 0. 1 minus 6 plus k is equal to 0. k minus 5 is equal to 0. k is equal to 5. Now substitute this k value in this equation. x minus 2y plus k is plus 5 is equal to 0. This satisfies a condition. This in this problem, why can they are considering this equation x minus 2y plus k is equal to for uh, here they ask that equation of a line passing through a point they are telling and perpendicular to the line given line they gave. So I am also having little doubt why I consider this equation only. After that, I will solve this problem. 
clearly i will explain this problem okay let us solve the next one if the x intercept of a line see in this question only see x intercept of a line is 2 units and y intercept of the line is twice the x intercept it means two times of the x intercept if they give two units means y in x intercept y intercept is twice the x intercept then given that x intercept a is equal to 2 units y intercept b is equal to two times it means twice of x intercept okay we know that a value is equal to 2 now b is equal to 2 into a if you write a plus 2 2 into 2 is equal to 4 units we know x intercept a is equal to 2 units b is equal to 4 units okay this condition we have to consider from this question we know that equation of intercept from of a straight line x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 now substitute in this one x by a value how much 2 y by b value how much 4 is equal to 1 lcm for this 2 and 4 is 4 then 2x plus y by 4 is equal to 1 then cross multiplication 2x plus y is equal to 4 2x plus y minus 4 it will comes to this side it will becomes negative sign okay This required condition of a straight line is 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. While writing in your while writing your exam, you have to write neatly what is given and what is the formula. And after that, required equation of a straight line like this you have to write. It will attract the uh, correction. Uh, attract your paper will attract definitely to get good marks. Okay. while correcting the paper first of all attraction is main important while writing in your exam sheet don't write clumsily dirtily whatever you know clearly mention all those on your exam paper okay don't get fear also while writing your exam okay next one let's like, let us see another question Find the tangent of an angle between the lines x plus 3y is equal to 1 and 3x minus 5 is equal to 2. Given the two lines x plus 3y is equal to 1 and 3x minus 5y is equal to 2. For the line x plus 3y is equal to 1, m 1 is equal minus a by b minus 1 by 3. For the line 3x minus 5 is equal to 2, m 2 is equal minus 3 by minus 5. That is minus minus get cancelled. The value is 3 by 5. We know the tangent. Of an angle that lies between two lines is tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 and m2. Substitute m1 and m2 values in this equation. In this plus m1 plus minus 1 by 3 minus 3 by 2 by 1 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 3 by 5. Tan theta is equal to 5 is 15. After substituting, we will get minus seven by six. In in module, it minus value becomes plus. Tan theta is equal to minus seven. Uh, tan theta is equal to seven by six. Okay. Thank you for your watching. If you have any doubts regarding this, please comment me on my comment section. Thank you.